Happy 2024, Fearless Army, and welcome to another episode of Shaking My Headlines. I'm your host, Shamika Michelle, and this is where we discuss a few hot topics that caused me to shake my head. I hope you're feeling revitalized, re-energized, renewed, rejuvenated, and restored, because we certainly didn't leave crazy in 2023. Let's get into it. Jada Pop Smith Kerr announced that jean leg warmers would be her go-to look for 2024. Jada, number one, we don't care. Number two, you look terrible. And number three, I'm just celebrating the fact that the picture you posted isn't actually Fat Joe letting us know He's sick and dying. Calendargate took over conservative media or conservative timelines over the holidays when there were a few pictures posted that people got their panties all in a bunch over. It left us with questions such as, are Christians conservatives? Are all conservatives Christian? Do you have to be Christian to be a conservative? Should you be a conservative Christian, a Christian conservative, uh, all over the place? But not only did we stop at calendar gate, it continued to cake gate. Check it out to see why these people who should be concerned about the border, uh, the fact that taxpayer dollars are still going to foreign countries, the fact that we have a senile old man Uh, in the White House are arguing about calendars and cakes. Epstein's flight list should be out by the time you actually see this video. Of course, I'm not holding my breath because I have watched Jay Sixers receive years and years of prison time while not one person who has been at Epstein's Island has been accused, charged, uh, outed, and received anything. So I'm not holding my breath, but we'll see what happens. Speaking of pedophiles and people that do strange things, Oprah Winfrey's The Color Purple remake, reboot, I mean reboot, should be reboot, has hit the theaters, came out Christmas Day. Boosie Badass came out with the post saying that he walked out with his daughter because it's a LGBTQ or gay love story. Now, while I I, I don't like all of the homosexuality that's being pushed in 2024 now, um, Boosie, This is the same storyline that was out in 1985 with the first movie, and thank God it's not as graphic as the book. I'm gonna need y'all to keep up with what's going on because there are a lot of complaints that I have about The Color Purple. Uh, One, being a 53-year-old woman who was post-menopausal playing Suge Avery. However, the lesbian scene is not new. Anyway, folks, thank you for tuning in. Join me for the next time you leave me shaking my headlines. Got a feeling 2024 is going to be a doozy. Peace. Help us grow the fearless army. Pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with all of your fearless friends. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.